20 minutes past 11 with Madonna from New Leaf Natural Therapies. Have you seen the movie yet? Oh, yeah. Saw it last week. Yes. Loved it. Loved it. We had people ring up once and said, oh, they kept watching it over and over. And I thought, yes. oh, really? But yeah. when I watched it, I watched it again. <laughs> no. It was amazing. Uh, Phenomenal. And we saw them last year with uh, that dude. Yeah. See, I first yeah. saw him in uh, Knots at, uh, sorry, uh, Knots at the Museum. He, oh, he, he, he was the Egyptian prince. Really? So I can imagine right that. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to check it out again. <laughs> uh, if you've just joined us, we're uh, sitting here with Madonna from New Leaf Natural Therapies on Bay Health, and we were talking actually um, just about um, allergies and how the immune system can be oversensitive. Yes. Um, so we'll just go on about, you know, this is a lifestyle thing, yes. not, uh, not necessarily a choice we've made, but just exposure. Even exactly. In the yeah. yeah. So, so one of the things that tends to happen is that the cell membranes end up getting chock-a-block full of environmental pollutants. So bit by bit, the cells stop being able to detox. Yeah. And we've got trillions of cells in the body, so it takes a long time to build them up. It takes a long time, which is why we tend to start getting symptoms as we get older and go, darn. I, that's what I always do. Whenever I get a new symptom, I'm like, darn, do here's that. something else. I'm going to do that next time I go and see the GP. That's where I walk in the door and the GPs look at me and roll my eyes like, oh. So if I, if I get something wrong, I go, darn. But something else I want to mention with yeah. dairy is that it can be the lactose, but it can be the protein as well. So like I said before, the homogenization process changes the molecular structure of the protein. So some people, and once again, you've got to experiment, uh, so some people will have an issue with the casein, the protein in the dairy, so therefore uh, it's the A2 milk that helps because that's an older variety of casein that hasn't been changed so much. Right, and because you're talking about homogenous and... Pasteurisation. Pasteurisation. Now yes. that's um, the... Just explain a few case. Oh, look, we've all heard it, we read it on the labels all yeah. the time, but just explain a little bit about what it is so when people you know read a milk label next they know what it is that they're looking at well they're really so the homogenization is about emulsifying the fats and the protein and sort of and the then they're heating it to a really high temperature so that it's killing off so the idea is that it's killing off any bacteria or any bugs in the milk so there's sort of a big process they go to to make sure the milk is sound for us which actually not really is is it because we do need good and back, back, bad bacteria in exactly our gut. and if it's out of balance so actually... i'm a big proponent of organic <laughs> milk <laughs> so and once again sometimes if people just swap over to organic milk because you know like dairy and wheat are also linked in with things like eczema dermatitis those real mm. scratchy skin problems and absolutely going off them totally and it can take time so yes, sometimes it can be a week and they're just going, yeah, my symptoms are so much better. But sometimes it can be a little while longer, especially if the gut's really deteriorated. So it depends on how the villi are growing, the enzymes they're releasing, you know, there's, there's, and the probiotics in there. Yeah, that combination of the microflora and the gut. So yeah, homogenization, it's really changing it so it's harder for our body to digest. Yeah. You can buy things called uh, dairy zymes or intolerance complex, which means they actually have lactase in them, which means that if you love your dairy but you know it hates you, if you take a couple of them every time you have dairy, sometimes that will really settle symptoms down. Oh, right. Well, see, I didn't know that. Yeah. So I, oh, I love digestive enzymes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you almost write an article on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But look, probiotics is out there now. It's really actually in our faces. It's advertised on yes. pretty much everything and on TV as well. So probiotics is, you know, it's good for us to get involved with them. It is. Become a friend. And these days, sort of from the naturopathic perspective, if you're going to do the basics, it's sort of like a fish oil a day, a multi a day, and a probiotic a day. Right. You know, so if you were doing that alone, that alone really helps lots of functions in your body. So expect your pee to smell. Yes, <laughs> those B <laughs> vitamins. It's a good thing, yes. thing though, because you know that all, it's also depleting all the toxins that are in yeah, there as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, look, we're, it's 24 minutes past 11. Thank you, Madonna, for that lovely information on probiotics. We'd like to hear about probiotics. But we're going to get into the summertime right now. This is a great song. Here's Thirsty Merck from Bay FM.